this kid who reads the Bible. What is the most important teaching of Christ? The answer is one and the same. What is that? The kingdom of God. God, Jesus preached the kingdom of God. We see that several times. It is that what Jesus called. Wherever he went. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 30, which we are reading for these weeks, we have seven parables, three of which is read for today. Seven parables in this same chapter <coughs> about the kingdom of God. And in Mark, Jesus begins his public ministry, Mark, chapter 1, 15. The time has come. Repent. The kingdom of God has arrived. Repent. That is the words with which he begins his public ministry. And this was a very prominent theme. And Jesus speaks to Peter, I give you the keys of the kingdom. Whatever you might hear on earth will be bound in heaven. I give you the keys of the kingdom. So, what is this kingdom? Is it something that we get once we die into place? What is our concept of the kingdom of God? That is the primary, the fundamental teaching of this. <coughs> Very basic. What is kingdom? Jesus gave authority to Peter, saying, I give you the keys of the kingdom. So it is nothing other than this church. And the doors of this kingdom is the sacraments. Once we are baptized, we are in the kingdom. So we live in the kingdom. The kingdom of, of God is within you. Again, Jesus will say, this is within you. It is within me. It is among you. It is with us. So we, we are not going to heaven. We are growing. <coughs> if we can go to heaven, I'm sorry, we cannot go. So how do we live this? What is what the science of kingdom? Paul in his letter to the Romans from where we read to you says everything turns. Whatever you do, everything turns. For good to those who love him, those who are called in accordance to his plan. So everything turns for good. So why don't we worry? If you love God, if God makes everything for good, that we are living in God's plan. We are our chosen place. <coughs> and we should have the discernment which. King Solomon prayed to discern what is fitting for the kingdom, what is not of the kingdom. That is the discernment we should pray for. Am I living in accordance to God's kingdom values? Again, Paul in his letter to Romans, chapter 14, verse 17, he said, Kingdom of God is not all about eating and drinking. It is not. It is not all about food. We are too much worried about that. Whenever we gather for a party, we go for one food. No, it is not kingdom of God. Kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and the joy of the Spirit. These are the three things. Whether we are living in the kingdom or not. Am I just Am I, do I have a sense of justice? Kingdom of God is righteous. Do I enjoy the peace with it? And do I have this joy in the Holy Spirit? 
So when you find the market is high, you invest there. You are happy. You know, you, you, you sell everything and invest.
So the priest is not supposed to, you know, crucify the person who comes there. It is between the faithful and God. It, it is a time to celebrate God's forgiving them. Compassion. Words fear. And the church is not a tall house. Every time you come to church, you pay 50 rupees, 100 rupees, 20 rupees. You can come to church. It is a father's house. That's why we have been there. I appreciate that we come from the weekday service also. If you miss one Sunday mass, see to it that you have, you know, you are in the church in one of the days. But this, this week I am going to the book, so there won't be a mess. You stay in this week. I am becoming a person. So let the kingdom rise, fill our lives.